Welcome to the Pew. Pew. Where the, we had a club kit sighting. Sort of. Yes. Um, Char- uh, Charles Jeffrey, who the we, designer, who we know somehow, don't we? I know him from ID Magazine, but I don't know him in person. He's, a, he's British, right? Presumably. Okay. So we came out with this line of underwear. Yeah, we were looking at ID.com, um, and uh, the underwear and the models are very, like, 1990s Disco 2000. Hmm. Because, yeah. remember, at Disco 2000, the club, club kids often, often, yeah, the club kids often wore underwear at Disco 2000. Patchy girdles. <laughs> Or or, 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 or male breed, like tiny or, or like shiny, you know, silver space age underwear. Or Superman, like um, like li- literally Superman, like with Superman, like images of Superman or like um, some superhero or something. So um, we'll flash some of the images on. So they've uh, come out. He's come out with this line of underwear, which look like the type of underwear that some club kid would have worn to Disco 2000. I mean, they look like they they, they look like pictures that people club kids would have taken had taken um, stopping at Michael Sacrilli's studio on the way. Yes. Uh, although they're a little bit modelly. Um they're, they're the kind of some of them reminded me very much of Matthew Anderson. Okay. Um, well they were according to the designer they were inspi- the underwear and the looks were inspired by David Bowie Culture Club and a British comedy show. What was it called? The Mighty Boosh. Mm. I saw it very much um David Bowie in there. Um we had earlier conversation whether or not they were Blitz Kitty. They were not. They weren't very Not in my opinion. But since they were um, from the UK, you'd think that they would have been Blitz Kitty. But I'm just curious. Why would, why would you think they would be Blitz Kitty? Because Blitz, the Blitz Kids were the UK version of Club Kids. I know, but like. Or, UK, or, or Club Kids were the American version of Blitz Kids. I think but, there's probably a lot of Club Kids in the UK. Now there are, yeah. But. Um, probably but in the 90s there were too. It's curious that they didn't name. Um, that they didn't call them club kids because they have a different word for it. What is it? I think they call them dressers. Dressers? <laughs> like like a piece of furniture? <laughs> well, that's what we call a dresser, <laughs> but that's not what they call it. I've never heard that term. I believe that's what they call them. Yeah. I mean, it would make sense. That sounds like a very British thing. Dresser. 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 But um, I've never ever heard of it. Um, that's really interesting, um, but they didn't. They didn't name that either. Well, I mean, what would you call the people that went to Taboo in the mid to late eighties? They were not Blitz kids. Yes, they were. No, they were. That's what they call themselves. They. I don't think they call themselves. That. Oh, I know they did. Are you sure? I'm positive. Well, because they don't look like Blitz kids. Well, what does a Blitz kid look like? The Blitz kids to me were like from the late seventies, early eighties, and they were kind of like high fashioning. Well, was um, was um, wh- who was Lee Bowery's um, cohort that, that killed himself? Trojan. Trojan. Was he a Blitz kid? I don't know. He was a Blitz kid. He was like the king of the Blitz kids. Well, Lee, Lee Bowery was a Blitz kid. Scarlet, well, he may, he Scarlet, may, Scarlet, Lee Bowery, they were all Blitz He kids. may have been a Blitz kid, but... I, well, I don't know if he was or if he wasn't, but he did not look well, by the mid... It's the late '80s. He did not dress like a blitz kid. I would like to see what you think a blitz kid looks like. Like I think of a blitz kid as like Steve Strange, or early Boy George. Okay, I, I see. The or book. like early Duran Duran, or, or Visage, or well, that's Steve Strange. Yeah. Or um, or early Spandau Ballet, or early Classics Nouveau. Okay. Like all these, all so those, that's what blitz kid is to me. Well, that's what Trojan was. Maybe he was a bit extreme, but um, not really if you include Steve Strange. I mean, I don't, like, to me, like, Taboo is, like, say, like, Michael Clark, the dancer, the British no. dancer. Like, he he doesn't look like a Blitz kid, or, or it's, like, well, Michael Clark. Body Map is, like, Taboo, you know, and that's not Blitz Body kids. Map is, I think, a cr- is a cross between Club Kid and Blitz Kid. They're, like, the missing link. <laughs> <laughs> They were, because they're, they're, they're not, you're right, they're not typical Blitz kid, but they're also not club kid. Um, they're, they're, a, they're some kind of cross-pollination, so the way that there was a cross-pollination between um, NASA and Disco without raving and, and club kid, but, and that this is a cross-pollination between Blitz kid and club kid, between, because when Lee Bowery came to New York, 
um, he brought some of the, like Pearl, he brought Pearl, and he brought, um, who else did he bring besides Pearl? He brought one other person. His wife. Oh yeah, Nicola. He brought Pearl and Nicola, and they were both Blitz Kitty, but they brought some of that Blitz Kid look into the Club Kid scene. Um, and, um, and Tasty Tim, and they, he didn't bring them, but they all came from that kind of, the same soup. So, um, uh, so, uh, they brought some of that, um, and, and then that spilled over into the club kid scene through Bella Bolsky and some of the people that they lived with, and Sister Dimension, and Billy Beyond, and that kind of like swirled it all together into one thing. Um, but, um, but they definitely started off as Blitz Kids, um, because uh, Lee was a host of, of Taboo. Yeah, I never associated Taboo with Blitz Kids. Really? Really. That was... We're going to have to Google that. Taboo was the Blitz Kids Disco 2000. See, the Blitz Kids were at the Club Blitz, and that was in the late 70s, early 80s. Yes, but they... Taboo was in the mid to late 80s. Yes, but Taboo was when they would really be... Like, for instance, well, it's the same as one could say that the Club Kids were at the Tunnel Basement in 1988, or were they at Disco 2000. Um, the Blitz, the, what you're talking about, the Blitz Kids... Um, their, the, Blitz, the, the Blitz Club would have been the Tunnel Club Kids in uh, the basement, and then Taboo would have been their Disco 2000, so it would have been like their like kind of explosion into like as much mainstream as you're going to get. We should ask the viewers. Viewers, yes. um, we challenge you to a Google. To a, to a, to a, to a Google. A Google. A Google. Please go on to Google and then Google Blitz Kids <coughs> and, and then Club Kids. and then no and then Google no don't go no. don't Google Club Kids let me finish and then no then Google Taboo the club in London and it's and T A B U I can't remember a T A B B O O oh. no I, th I think it's T A B U T A B okay but I don't know however. Figure it out and Google it, <laughs> and then look at the images of the people at Taboo, and then decide, are the looks the same at one club or the other? And they probably aren't going to be exactly the same because... Of Wait, the are you talking about from Blitz and Taboo? Yeah. Well, they're going to be more polished at Taboo, because it's it's like the, the, pinnacle, the pinnacle, I guess you'd say. Um, so they're going to be much more polished, but the question is whether Lee Bowery and... Um, and um, and Nicola and those people would have would have fit in there would have been an example. I mean, it, in fact, you don't even have to do that because um, if you uh, if you I think if you Google Blitz Kids, those names will pop up because um, Lee has always Lee and Boy George have always um, uh, um, associated themselves and call themselves Blitz Kids. Well, Boy George worked at the Blitz. Yeah, yeah. he was a Blitz kid. So, but 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 same as Lee Bowery um, would call himself a Blitz kid, and he worked at Taboo. So um, you know, and he's definitely he's about as polished as you get as far as that look goes. So I think um, well, let the viewers decide. Let the viewers decide, and let the let the let the let the results fall where they may. I'm going to start. I'm going to start my googling right now. We'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the view. <laughs> so we've been fiercely a Google. <laughs> Googling a fiercely. And we well, here's what we have decided. What <laughs> we have decided that Michael's right. Oh, Ernie, I did, I, I graciously concede. Oh, that I, you I are can't correct. accept the whole. I can't accept everything. Yeah, you are one hundred percent correct. Okay. Well, what we decided was that the club, and we'll show picture pictures we'll, as we do this. Yes, we'll we'll flash some pictures. Okay. So that the Blitz kids had a certain look at the Blitz club, and right. then um, and which then, was a post-punk look. Now, to me, post the post-punk look of the Blitz Kids was kind of punk, 
but like a little more uh, high fashion. It was very high than what punk rock was. And, and this was pretty, pretty goth. goth. Yeah. So what you're seeing in the Blitz Kids is you're seeing like elements of goth, but this was before the Bat Cave. Happened, right. Which so, didn't happen until like 1983. So the Bat Cave could have even had its influences in the... Well, probably some of the people that went to the Blitz went on to the Bat Cave yeah, and, and, then, you know, off. and then created the whole goth look. Yeah. Because so, there was some goth going on there. Yeah. So, so then... Fast forward to the mid '80s, like maybe seven or eight years later, and you've had some of those same people that went to Blitz were at Taboo, and they were doing similar looks but different. Uh, well, yeah, they had update, they evolved looks and evolved looks, and a lot of them are the same. The ones that were that were staying there were more polished because they'd been doing it for a long time, so they'd learned how to do their makeup and you know, so forth. So they were much similarly at this Similarly. You start. You had club kids who started off at tunnel, the tunnel basement. Right, and the um, looks weren't that good. Actually. No, they weren't. They were, some of them were pretty awful. Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I remember bo- a box of Oreos on my head, uh, uh, and Fruit Loop earrings. <laughs> um, and um, but also I remember um, the, the cute little Lord Fauntleroy outfits with like the big frilly uh, bow ties and <laughs> no, but like a, but more of a tie, like a ribbon tied around mm-hmm. your neck. Um, and then a frilly, like, a lace, maybe a collar on your shirt. Um, well, that was a very popular style in the mid-80s. Yeah, and like the stockings mm-hmm. that were in the camel up, and that were like garter-type things. Um, and then... Um, and pearls. And pearls and things like that. Um, and black and white and gray and things. And then... Um, um, and then, so then at Disco 2000... Circle forward to yeah, early 90s. You had a lot of the same, again, a lot of the same people, but in a more um, colorful, it was like night and day, literally, like or day and night. Um, what was at first the black and white kind of somber, it was very somber Adams Family, a little bit of Wednesday Adams um, at the tunnel um, in the beginning. And then it became like this very colorful kind of clown life. Uh, thing at Disco 2000. Um, so the look was different, it was more updated. Um, and plus we learned how to make our outfits better, and we also learned how to do our makeup better. Right. So um, so the look was just different. But they were both club kids, and they were both um, reminiscent of the same, uh, it was in the same group. So The um, question is, though, do the viewers concur? Yeah, well. Let us know what you think. Bye. Bye. Bye.